what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to quickly enable parameterization of your data sources. Okay, so in Two Minute Tuesdays, I usually do what? Head straight to my laptop. Can't do that this time because I need to kind of level set a little bit. So I did a video on this a while ago and there was a lot of clicks involved to enable the parameterization of your data sources. Not anymore. And that's what I'm going to show you in this Two Minute Tuesday. And the reason, right, that people like to parameterize their data sources is because sometimes they have multiple environments that they want to test their reports in, like development, test, user acceptance, and production. And they just want to kind of toggle back and forth between those environments to make sure everything works as they make changes, right? Okay, okay, you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, it's actually what time to do what? Head over to my laptop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, what you want to do with this new little nugget that I found, instead of clicking get data immediately, go over, open up the query editor. So you can see I have the query editor open and click on new source and choose SQL Server. And what you'll see is the only thing I can do is hard code my server name and my database in. I want to make it more dynamic. I want to parameterize it so I can easily toggle between the two. Before, there was a lot of clicks involved. Click, 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 click. Now, watch this. Let me show you. Let me show you. So before you get your source, click on view and there's a section here labeled parameters and there's a checkbox labeled always allow. Check it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no idea how long this has been there. I just saw it the other day. I was like, what is this? And I did some tests and I said, I'm going to do a video on this. All right. So if you click home now in the ribbon and you choose new source and choose SQL Server, what you'll see, watch this, watch this. Oh, these little drop downs. What are those? If you're familiar with this, you already know, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So if I click new, choose parameter. Now I can parameterize my server name. So I'm going to say server name. I'm going to paste my server name in there. Click OK. And I'm also going to parameterize my database. So I'm going to put database. And I'm going to put adventure W. Click OK. And now instead of hard coding those values, it's, it's using the parameters. I click OK. This is this is so exciting to me. I click OK. I choose something. I'm going to choose customer. Click OK. There's the preview. You see the parameters there. If I right click, go into the advanced editor and look at the M instead of the server name and the database name there, it's just a parameter name. Once I click close and apply, watch this. It's going to load my data up. It's about 18,000 rows or so in this table. Should load it pretty quickly. And now if I want to toggle between environments, all I need to do is choose edit queries, edit parameters, and then I can change to dev, UAT, production, whichever environment I want. Just like that. This is bananas. Did you know that little checkbox was there? Checkbox was there. I didn't. And guess who else didn't? Not going to say any names. But anyway, right? What do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, for Madam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.